So guys, the term smart home has a bit of an intimidation factor associated with it. That's because there are so many different products that fit under that umbrella and even more ways to put those products to good use in your home. Add in the inherent do-it-yourself nature of these products and a beginner could get scared off pretty quickly. But I'm gonna show you how to strip the smart home down to its most basic level so you can get started with automation quickly and hopefully simplify your life. I'm Megan Woolerton for CNET and this is a how-to. Whether you realize it or not, you've probably been automating parts of your home for a long time now. Take this analog timer. I got this at a local hardware store for about five bucks, and you can use it for your indoor lighting to set schedules when you're away on vacation, for example. So while these old school rigs can get the job done, there are updated smart home versions called smart plugs, like this Belkin Wemo switch right here, that can strip away some of that radial dial clunkiness and actually add features like remote access on your phone. Now, the Belkin Wemo switch is about as simple to set up as it could possibly be. Just download the Belkin Wemo app on your Android or iOS phone or tablet, then open the app and it will ask you what device you want to set up. The first one on there is Belkin Wemo switch slash motion. We're not going to worry about the motion part, so just click on that. From there, it'll tell you to plug in your Belkin Wemo switch, to go to the settings section on your phone and find the Wemo Wi-Fi connection, once you're connected to that, go back to the app and it will pair your new Belkin Wemo switch. The last step then is just to add in your local Wi-Fi information. So that's basically just adding in your local password. And then your Wemo switch is set up. You can hook it up to a lamp, like you could with this analog dial, or an iron, or a space heater, or a fan, or any other small device in your home that you would like to control. So if you left home already, but you think you might have forgotten to turn off your space heater, just go to the app and it will tell you. And if it's on, just press the button and turn it off. It's as simple as that. Now, a Belkin Wemo switch will set you back 50 bucks. This thing was $5, so it's definitely a little bit more. But for the peace of mind it affords, I think it's definitely worth it. There are products in categories ranging from home heating and cooling to smart security that can do what the Belkin Wemo switch does for lamps and other small appliances. So just think about what you want to make easier in your home and in your life. And there's probably a really great home automation product out there for you. Thanks for watching this smart home how-to. Be sure to check out the rest of our coverage on CNET.com. I'm Megan Woolerton for Cena Appliances.